Hello. In this video, we're looking at MEI Further Pure 1, the January 2011 paper, question 5, which is on series. Reading the question first, we note that it says use standard series formulae. So we must use this method, otherwise we won't get full marks. It is also a show that question, which means that we've got to be particularly careful to make sure that all steps in the working are clearly shown. So to use standard series formulae, I need to have separate sums. So the first thing I need to do is to multiply out the brackets. So to show that question, so I'm starting by writing the left hand side down and then multiplying out the brackets. 3r squared minus 4r cubed and splitting that into separate sums it's the sum from what r equals 1 to n three lots of that of the sum of r squared minus four lots of the sum from r equals 1 to n of r cubed so copying carefully from the um, formula book that's three lots of one sixth n n plus 1 2n plus 1 minus 4 quarters n squared n plus 1 squared uh, 3 sixths is a half and 4 quarters is 1 so uh, if you're at all wobbly about um, factorising, then take out the fraction on its own first. We're going to need that, we can see from the answer. So taking out a factor of a half leaves me with n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1 with the first term, and 2 of the second term, that's 2 halves, which is 1. You don't have to show that as a separate line, but uh, if you have a tendency to make mistakes, it's a good idea to do it as a separate line. Whatever you do, don't multiply out um, this second line of working here because you'll end up with, in this case, a quartic to factorise, which is bad news. Take out factors. So we can see that both terms have a factor of n and a factor of n plus 1. In the first term, that just leaves me with 2n plus 1. And for the second term, that leaves me with 2n times n plus 1. I can't take out any more factors, so now I do need to multiply out what I've got in those square brackets. 2n plus 1 minus 2n squared minus 2n. And that gives me a half n n plus 1, 1 minus 2n squared as required. If when you get to the bottom you haven't got the given answer then you know to look back and find your mistake. Don't just try and fudge it because the examiner will spot that but if you've lost a minus sign somewhere track it back very very carefully and make sure by double checking that you have actually got it correct. So there's a method mark for splitting it into separate sums, two sums. That may be implied by the next row, but it's always a good idea to write that out. Then there's appropriate use of at least one of those standard results and an accuracy mark if you have put them both correctly. There's then a method mark for an attempt to factorise both n and n plus 1. And a final accuracy mark for a complete convincing argument and that's where you'll lose marks if you've done a bit of fudging even if you've got the uh, first lot of marks. If you want to find videos of other questions on this unit or on other units please visit the Further Maths Support Programme's website. Goodbye.